Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to your watch along. Chelsea versus Leicester. I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome along. Um, we go through the motions once again. We are going to see exactly how this is going to pan out. It's FA Cup weekend. i got to say, I love the FA Cup, right? Um, when it is FA Cup, you just know you're going to get some buttes. We got that last night. We got that yesterday, not last night. We got that yesterday with the... Uh, with the shock, 3-2 result with Wolves getting eliminated. Mad. Um, but Man City doing a routine on Newcastle. Now, today, there's Chelsea versus Leicester City. Later on, there's Manchester United versus Liverpool. Now, um, just to clarify, I've got to make sure I get the times right because I've not actually double-checked. The FA Cup can sometimes change the time. When is it that Liverpool and United play exactly? Let me have a look. So... Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. Um, 3.30. Cool. Um, so that comes later. That comes after. Happy days. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Man City are already through. Coventry are already through. Some people are coming at me going, how did you pronounce Coventry? Coventry. <laughs> but I know some people want to hear Coventry, right? I get it. Right. But um, you'd be surprised how much people in the UK actually call it the same way I do. Anyway, um, that's that. And then later on, City, uh, Liverpool or United are going to get through. My money's on Liverpool. If I'm having to predict, I'm going with Liverpool. Let me know who you think is going through there. United or Liverpool. I reckon Liverpool. But let me know who you think. And Chelsea Leicester. Now, like I said in the preview, this should be pretty much routine. Let me take that back. <laughs> because <laughs> it's Chelsea. It should be, um, realistically, a normal day at the office, right? Um, I'm not expecting a battering. I'm not expecting something huge. I'm not expecting something crazy, but I'm expecting a nice, small win, right? This is why I predicted Chelsea to win 2-1, but I still predict Chelsea win. Um, if, if anything else happens, right? I'm saying it now. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. And I don't think it will. But um, we'll wait and see. Leicester. Now, we've all seen Leicester in terms of the championship, where they are, they're top of the championship, how we, how we think they are going to be once they do make their way back up to the Premier League because it's going to happen. But has anyone actually been watching Leicester properly recently? I've not. But I've seen their form and it's not looking great. They've got a few injuries. Honestly, I think they're coming to the bridge in the worst possible way. But at Chelsea, that doesn't really mean anything. So, look, we're going to see how it's all going to pan out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, not down below. I'm so used to doing recorded videos. Let me know in the chat <laughs> what you guys think. Um, let's get to the first super chat of the day. Thank you all very much. I'm um, saying uh, from... Porna, thank you very much. Eunice Brother, what is this lineup? Big fan, by the way. Been watching for years. Also, thoughts on Gusto versus Reese James. Thank you very much um, for your long and continuated support. Um, I continuated. Is that even a word? Continued. Why am I overcomplicating the vocabulary here? <laughs> continuated. What? Um, I've got to go back to GCSE English. Um, but no, I'm going to get to the lineup very shortly. Gusto Reese James, look, Reese James, never injured, is without a doubt one of the best right backs in the world. So I'm not going to come on here and tell you Gusto is flipping, you know, one of the best right backs in the world. No, not yet. But he is playing well this season and I'm very happy. And he's come into the role exactly how we needed him to come into the role. Remember, we needed a backup to Reese James and we needed someone to step in when Reese James wasn't there. And Gusto's done that. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Absolutely cool with that. Um, Luca, thank you very much. Saying Chelsea Liverpool in the final again. I'm tired of it. Who's to say? I'll be honest. I don't think we're going to get Liverpool in the final. I'll tell you because I think if we do get through today, I think we get them in the semi final. Why? Because Man City will end up with Coventry. It's Man City. Man City get the easy draw in the draws. Except for the Champions League. <laughs> Finally, they've been tested. Normally, Man City would have got Dortmund. Do you know what I mean? They're that team. Re realistically, though, they should be able to beat anyone and everyone. But, um, look, 
I'm not, I'm not, firstly, two things. I'm saying that I reckon we get Liverpool in the semi if we get to the semi. And firstly, are we going to get to the semi? <laughs> hey, we got today to get past. Yeah, let's get past today. And then we'll look at the draw afterwards. And it's after it's all said and done. I think after the Liverpool United game, um, the FA Cup semi-final draw will take place. So, look, I'm not, I'm not, um, you know, painting a picture like, oh, we're already through. This is Chelsea we're talking about. So, um, let's wait and see. Now, the lineups, the lineups, the lineups. Let's get to the lineup. So, the lineup is basically what I expected, except for one thing. Except for one thing. So, if we get to the lineup, let me actually try something here really quick, really quick. Um, I do want to make sure. If it does show up. Right, when it pops up. Um, but the lineups, right? Again, I'm not surprised. But one change here has me a little bit nervous. And that's Sanchez in goal. Um, I don't get why... Why is Sanchez playing today? Is it because it's the FA Cup? Well, this FA Cup isn't like normal FA Cup settings. We need this FA Cup if we want to get a Europa League spot, as far as I'm concerned. Some people have this hope that we're going to get it through the league. We're not. <laughs> just, we're just not. And I reckon people are going to get disappointed if they think that. But I want to take this competition seriously. So I want assurances, and Petrovic right now is the assurance. I don't understand why risk it with Sanchez. Is it because we're playing a championship team? Maybe because we're playing Leicester. Maybe it's, uh, you know, we're not, we're not worried. I think that's the wrong approach. I think we've got to take them seriously. So um, I would go Petrovic in goal. But anyway, Sanchez is in goal. Gusto right back, Kukurea left back. De Sassi and Chalaba as the two centre-backs. Again, I'm not surprised. Thiago Silva's not there. We won't see Thiago Silva. Um... I don't think we'll see him again, just to clarify that. But Caicedo, Gallagher in the double pivot alongside him, as predicted. I, we, we, I think we all knew that. Mudrik is in the 10. Happy days. <laughs> Happy days. Um, so we get to see him in that role. And look, this is going to be a test for him now. You know, you've been trusted with this position. Run with it. Let's see what happens, you know, um, because we can't have a stinker. <laughs> and I don't expect him to put a stinker in, if I'm honest, because it is Leicester. Um, so... Mudrik in the 10, Palmer on the right, Sterling on the left, as expected, because Mudrik is in the 10. I, I have no doubts that Sterling would start. And Nicholas Jackson up top. Now, I do want to say, some people, correctly, because I'm not going to lie, it slipped my mind yesterday on the preview. I completely forgot, because this is what we've come to. Some people were saying that I was going to reference Mudrik in the 10, Jackson on the left, and Washington up front. And I did say I was going to do that, yes. But I do want to also clarify that Washington, despite us buying him for 20 million, has been made to seem like he doesn't exist. So I forgot. <laughs> I can't lie. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot he existed. So now, look, we, are, we, we knew Washington wasn't going to start anyway. It's very unrealistic. Um, but I wouldn't be against having... Jackson on the left, Mudrik in the 10, and Washington up front. Screw it. Try it. What have we got to lose? Do you know what I mean? Because I think um, Jackson operates best on the left. I think it'd be best without Sterling in this team. I think Mudrik in the 10 is something to try and run with. And I reckon we've we got Washington. Let's see what you can do up front, mate. You're Brazilian. So do some Brazilian samba up top and score me a hat-trick. <laughs> you know? Um, so what I'm going to say is let's run with this and let's see how it goes. And look, if, if we have to change, if, if we get to like the second half and it's not looking good, right, then I wouldn't be against bringing Washington on um, and sticking Jackson on the left and take Sterling off and see what we do. I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against it. So um, let me know your thoughts. Now, um, I think there was a couple of other super chats. Let me get to them. Uh, Sharpie, thank you very much. Greetings. Good luck today, Eunice and Chelsea fans. Thank you very much. Man City fan. Like I've said, I reckon you're going to get Coventry. <laughs> so, 
we'll see. But Man City yesterday absolutely wiping the floor of Newcastle. Easy, easy settings, easy settings. I even saw apparently Pep asked Eddie Howe after the game saying that's not how you normally play. What's going on? Pfft, goes to show. And he's right. So big up to Sharpie. Thank you very much. Um, Arash, thank you for your super chat, mate, saying playing goalkeeper in the Ramadan league. Five clean sheets so far while fasted. I'm near the bridge. Oh, I was about to say, what's he on about? Ramadan League, what's going on? Five clean sheets, who? But you're talking about yourself, big up to you. And um, Ramadan, Kareem, to everyone that is fasting. I am. And um, it's easy. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot easier this year. I don't know what it is, but light work for me, light work. So, yeah. Um, listen, you're playing in this league, five clean sheets. We might need to uh, bring you in, mate. If we're going to rest Petrovic, you might as well call you up. Arash to play and go, anyone? Let me know in the chat. <laughs> and CF, thank you very much for your um, contribution. Now, the bench, um, actually talking about the bench, we've got the bench on the screen here as well, but I'll read it off my phone because I've got all the details here. We've got um, Badia Shilang on the bench, Thiago Silva on the bench, Madueke, Chukwameka, Ben Chilwell, he is available, Petrovic, Washington, um, Josh Hakempong, and Oli Harrison. He's definitely from the academy, isn't he? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the bench. For Leicester, let's talk about Leicester. They've got a 4-2-3-1. Stolarzik in goal. Chowdhury on the right, we remember him. Callum Doyle on the left. Vestergaard and Fias in centre-back. Harry Winks in midfield alongside Ndidi. Dubesbury Hall just ahead of them. This is a Premier League sort of side. When you really look at this on paper, it feels like a Premier League team. Um, Mavididi on the left, Fataru on the right, and Paston Dakar up top. Now, I think the only guy to have played in that FA Cup final when Leicester beat us, that goes to show, not too long ago, we lost to these lot. Um, but when they beat us, um, Ndidi, I think, is the only one in this 11 that played that day, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the team. And on their bench, they've got Danny Ward, James Justin, Connor Cody. Connor Cody plays at Leicester now. Whoa, I didn't even know that. Mark Albrighton, Ian Archo. And they've got ballers on the bench, bruv. Tom Cannon, um, Ag Agon, Eunice Agon. Big up, Eunice, compatriot and that. Um, <laughs> Wanya Marcel Madivadua. What a great name. And Ben Nelson um, on the bench for Leicester. So that's Leicester. Hey, you know what? It's a decent side. I've got to say, it's a decent side. I can see why they're top of the championship. But realistically, we should be able to get past them, I would think. Now, um, let's get to more of the Super Chats. Let me know your thoughts down below on that Leicester team. Uh, K-Bear, what happened to Shootout? And Eunice Talks miss it. Okay, let me clarify a few things. So, Shootout is going through a bit of a revamp. There's been scheduling issues between me and George, so we're trying to align things because he's on the other side of the world. So it's not easy to try and align frequently. He's had a few things he's had to do, which means that trying to actually do content together at the same time has been a bit difficult. There's a revamp and there's a new structure coming, so hold your thoughts. Eunice Talks, the second channel... You guys are going to love what's coming there. I'm just, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, just make sure you're subscribed. Link is in the description. Wait for it. Just wait for it. Wait for it. When it comes soon, you're going, your jaws are going to drop. I'm just going to say that. Your jaws are going to drop. So <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. Link in the description um, on Eunice Talks, the second channel. Brand new content. A lot more personal content coming on there. Keep your eyes peeled. Carlos Rosales, thank you very much. Big up, Eunice. Up the Chels. Up the Chels. Thank you, Carlos. Um, Sharpie again, thank you very much. Saying, after watching the game, I'd agree we did play a little different to normal. Silver with two lucky deflected goals. Coventry amazed me against Wolves. They did. I was shocked that they even made the comeback. How do you... How do you lose your lead in the 88th minute and still win the game? That you, you are now down in the 88th minute you're losing and then you come back and you win the game. Unbelievable. So big up big up to Coventry and, and Wolves. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, Sharpie, no, I was talking about Pep as well, mentioning to Eddie Howe. He told Eddie Howe that's not how you normally play. And it's true, Newcastle were just off. They're just off. So let me know your thoughts. Um, and big up to Siafik Hassan 
Much appreciated. Member for 13 months in the starting 11. Ramadan Kareem, brother. I hope you have a good month. Same to you. Thank you all so much. Um, and like I said, it is a good month. It's a great month so far. Very easy. Um, hey, people don't... Hey, if you were there in the summer months of like... What was it? Two, three years ago? Hey, three years ago, I'd say. When we were... Man, no, three, four years ago, actually. We were fasting at like... Till like 9.30pm. And it was like 32 degrees. M mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was testing that was testing so yeah um k bear again thank you very much saying please bring back reddit monday or make it bi-weekly um that's on the back burner that's something that i'm not going to say is going to come back immediately but it's definitely something i will return to because i did enjoy it it's just um being able to fit it in and make sure that it's done frequently and consistently at a good standard that's on the back burner so yeah don't worry that will that will be brought back um, when best so keep your eyes peeled for that too just not now that won't come back soon don't don't hold your breath but it will come back 100% um, and just to answer no I'm not going to show the match because look okay I don't know how many times I need to repeat this you're not going to be able to watch live football on YouTube you're just not what I mean by live football live European English Cup League whatever Spanish, French, Italian, whatever, European football, you're not going to be able to watch live on YouTube because copyright. <laughs> Any one of us tries to show a game, the channel is getting taken down. So unless you don't want to see Eunice Talks Football anymore, right, and this channel is just going to, as The Rock would say, disappear, yeah, then I'm not going to show it. Um, so, yeah. Brian, CF, thank you very much. Saying the Brody Eunice talks minerals. <laughs> Big up, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, big up to Johnny as well. I've been on um, Minerals' channel for... When was the last time? Two, three days ago? Um, banging stream with Goonie as well. Man knows football. He was on there. So make sure you go and check that out too. Um a lot of truth bombs on there. That's the place where you can just go and unload and just completely, just realistically talk about the situation of the club. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Now, Pochettino is talking. And I don't know what he said. I can only see his lips move. Big up Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank in the Pundit Studio with Gary Lineker. Um, now, with... Like I said, Pochettino, God knows what he said. But... Um, the game is being shown on BBC One, so make sure you guys are watching on BBC One if you are in the UK. If you're not in the UK, you're just going to have to do what you normally do. So it is what it is. Um, thank you very much, K Bear, again. Thank you, saying if we had signed Benzema, this match would be a breeze. Ramadan, Benzema firing on all cylinders. Also, Eunice, you can post your WWE opinions on the second channel. I'm not going to post any WWE content on the second channel. No. In fact, it, it, if that's going to happen any time down the line, I'll probably do a new channel, like Eunice Talks Wrestling or something. That would be mad. Um, but, because it's a good time. It's a good time right now. Let me just say that now, you know, if you smell. <laughs> but, um, like I said, the second channel is going to bang. And soon, soon. Keep your eyes peeled. That's coming soon. Um, but Benzema, listen, not just Benzema. You make a point there. Ramadan, Benzema firing. Ramadan is a time where a load of Muslim players that are fasting, bang. And why? I'll tell you why. Um, I've personally experienced this firsthand. And I think many anyone that's played football, um, 11 aside properly and fasted while doing it, realises how amazing you end up playing. I don't know what it is, but you feel lighter, you feel agile, you feel more like on it, you're alert, you're focused, you're just... You feel snappy. You feel sharp. You're sharp. I don't know what it is, but you're sharp. The problem isn't then. It's the problem comes after you finish playing and you're just like, oh my God, I need water right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's great. This is why I'm not surprised when I see Muslim players in Ramadan play like flipping Messi reincarnated, right? Or they just put in absolute bangers. I'm not surprised. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to highlight that. But we haven't got long. We've got 10 minutes until kickoff um, and until this game starts. Let me just, again, check something here. Okay, let's have a butcher's. 
I want to make sure things are aligning. Okay, oh, I know where I am. Cool, fantastic. We've got the game up and we've got it all ready. Um, let me bring up The stats, ready to show the stats, of course. Right, that's all ready to go. When kickoff begins, um, we will bring up the stats for all the statisticians in the house. We will bring it up on screen right here. Now, um, like I said, 10 minutes to go. Um, I know a lot of people, well, I say a lot of people, some people at least are not happy that Sterling is starting. I'm not. I'll be honest. Um, it's actually funny. I put Sterling in my lineup yesterday in the preview, right? And I got a couple of comments going, Eunice, why are you so fascinated with Sterling? Why do you like Sterling so much? Did you watch the video? <laughs> Did you hear my words? But if I had it my way, Sterling's not starting. But Mudrik has got to play in the 10. So if he's playing the 10, we ain't got any other choice except to play Sterling as a left winger. So because it's Leicester and it's a championship side, we run with it. If this was a Premier League side, a top Premier League game, I would be considering other options. I would even maybe think, you know what? Maybe don't play Mudrik in the 10. Maybe, maybe just stick him out on the wing. Uh, and even then, I'm not so sure because look, I've got to be honest. Mudrik, I'm not completely sold on. I'm not sold on him. But... I'm willing to give an opportunity in a new position to see what he can do there. As a winger, I'm not convinced. Like, I think he's way too one-dimensional. I think as a number 10 now, could we maybe unlock something in him? Might he find a bit more comfort? Might he, might, might, might he find a bit of form? Is he better in tight spaces? Is he better trying to actually use his skill rather than run at players? Uh, this is, these are the things we don't know. We don't know. So try, you know, and see what happens. So this is why I was like, you know what? We run with uh, Mudrik in the 10. And because of that, Sterling against a championship team on the left might not be the worst thing. But Sterling is just, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I've seen enough. Like, I've seen enough. So that's, uh, that's my thoughts on Sterling, basically. Um, and to remind everyone, make sure that you are aware the FA Cup semi-final draw, if we get through, because if we're not through, then you're not going to care about this. I understand it. But if we do get through, um, it's a case, the FA Cup draw semi-final will be done after the Man United-Liverpool game. So make sure you guys are aware. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, yeah, exactly. I've, put, I've still put Sterling in the team. Because who else? Who else? <laughs> unless, 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 and this is what I, I said um, a few days ago. Unless you put Jackson on the left and you stick Washington up front, which is, as I've said, I wouldn't be against that. Do that later on. We'll see how we start off. And then if we have to do it, we do it later on. I wouldn't be against it. Carney is not a left winger. Can I just clarify that now? Chukumeka is not a winger. <laughs> you see, this is the point. People are desperate now to not have Sterling in the team that they're playing players out of position just like Pochettino has been doing. I'm not doing it. We're not doing it. This is the thing. Uh, he's not a left winger. But I get the desperation to not have Sterling in the team. I understand it. Do you see, this is the problem that we're in. This is why I've gone and started with Sterling. Do you know what I mean? I've started with Sterling. So... <sighs> And look, Madueke, Madueke has never played on the left in his life. I, I get he's a winger. He's played on the right. He's a right winger. We've not actually played him on the left. Has he ever played on the left? I'm actually going to look this up. This is actually a very good uh, question, you know. Has he ever played on the left before? Let's try and look at his history because I know exactly where to go. If you go to Transfer Market, you are able to go and see what positions he's played in throughout his entire career. So we're on the page, Madoweke, full stats, right? He's played once. <laughs> once. <laughs> once. 
Um, let's have a look. Once for Chelsea, once he's played on the left. And he's played through how many matches? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how many matches this is. Um, 158 matches of his entire life, he's played on the left four times. He's not a left winger. So again, it's risky. I, I say it's less risky playing Madueke on the left than Chukomeka, right? For sure. But he's played four times out of 158 matches, career matches, four times as a left winger. <laughs> just, and those games, if I'm going to actually dive into the detail, those games were under 19 PSV in the 18-19 season. Once in... He played an hour... Check this. He played an hour for PSV on the left in a league game. He played 78 minutes on the left for, uh, for PSV in the Europa League. And he played six minutes on the left for Chelsea once. Six. Six minutes. <laughs> now you can see why Sterling is going to start. He's going to. He's just going to. So... There we are. Um, yeah, the thumb, the thumb. There was confusion over the thumb. Now I can't change it now. It's too late. Um, but I had someone do the thumb, and it was only very late I realised it had Tillemans on it. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, Tillemans is not here. So, but it is what it is. Look, it's Leicester. It's you get you get the gist. It's Leicester. So we run with it. We run with it. It's one error. Um, game is going to be kicking off very, very shortly. Let me now dive and see if I can just clarify one thing very quickly. Very quickly. Just making sure we get um, the right place, should I say? Oh, that's very bizarre. Right, all set. Um, yeah, K-Bear, thank you very much for your super chat um, saying. Brought Jackson as striker, he is better as a left winger. Brought Mudrick as a left winger, he's better as a 10. Is this the fault of our scouting, Potter's strategy or what? I would honestly say a bit of both. Um, so yeah. I think it's. I think we've not scouted correctly completely. We've not identified that who's going to work with exactly what manager, and we've not aligned that correctly. That's what I think is the mistake. Um, and Johan say thank you very much. Saying Sterling create chances though. Bias Jamaican here. I expect him to against Leicester. I'll be honest. This is this is why also why I went with Sterling because I I expect him to. It'd be shocking if he didn't. Do you know what I mean? So. Oh, let me get the timer up. Bloody hell, I almost forgot that one. Um, right. Right, we are good to go.
Right, before kickoff, let me just clarify again. Someone said Potts looks tired. He does. <laughs> he looks exhausted. I don't blame him, to be honest. Um, I'm not surprised. Or shocked that's the case. Right, we are about to kick off. Right, we go. Now, um, let me get the stats up for you guys. We move. Right, there we go. Stats are on the screen for everyone to enjoy. As Leicester are trying to go on the attack already, blimey, um, they've won themselves a corner. Just having a butcher's on something here, making sure. I want to be able to try and get the most up-to-date thing that I can possibly find. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah, I'm heading, I'm heading there. I'm heading to BBC. Um, K-Bear saying, who approved these kits? Kit Clash? It does look like a Kit Clash. Um, maybe we might have to send them to the mega store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was jokes. That was jokes. Right. Okay. I had a couple of issues. 
All is good though. I hope. Blimey, coming off the post. Um, Right, okay. We're good. Um, I've had to go alternative and I do reckon that I'm probably going to be a little bit behind. Um, I've got issues in terms of signal. So it means that I'm having to resort to another way. <laughs> but I'm still watching BBC, but it's a, I, I know for a fact, I think it's a bit behind most of you lot. Um, so... Although I am ahead of iPlayer. I'm ahead of watching online by a little bit. So there's a balance here, it's okay. But I think in terms of normal standard terrestrial TV, where most are gonna be watching, um, that's gonna be your most up to date. And that's definitely gonna be a bit ahead. So um, just clarifying that now, but we're watching. Five minutes in, five and a half. Super chats have come in. Apologies. I was trying to sort out all the technicals. Um, JC, thank you very much. Saying, did you hear Potts today? He went on how we are a different Chelsea and fans shouldn't expect as much from Chelsea because it's a different project, not winning one. Listen, I I've had enough of him talking like that. I, I honestly have. I I'm not going to lie. I understand to an extent what he might be trying to say, but... I would, I'm not just going to accept being in this situation, man. No, 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 no. Hell no. Absolutely hell no. So, not doing it. Ball passing along the back line, the sassy Chalaba. I don't know why I've got a feeling that this game is, this game might be a little bit more, I don't say shocking, a little bit more unpredictable compared to what people are thinking is going to happen. Oh, is Matisse at the game? Oh, yeah, no, he did mention about how he, he's been going to the games where it's been lower, like lower opposition, so he might actually be there. He might actually be there, yeah. Ball all the way with Sanchez. I don't know why I'm feeling cautious. Is it just me? I'm feeling cautious. I'm not feeling very uh, flamboyant or loose about this game. I'm feeling a little like uh, wary. Ah, his friend got him a free ticket. Fair enough. It's the cup. Why not? Right. 
Mudrik almost being able to win that, but a foul's been given. Yeah, this is a really, really big kick clash. Who approved this? Who approved this? Leicester looking, um, so far, confident on the ball. Definitely confident on the ball. Oh, Palmer, you've got to be doing better in the air there. You have to. Ball in and out for a goal kick. Approaching 10 minutes. Nil nil. Sanchez goes long. Sterling going to make it? Probably not. There we are. Yep. Chowdhury. Um, back to the goalkeeper. Now, remember, the Leicester fans have taken up the entire shed end because it is the FA Cup. Um, so, the FA Cup away crowd always get the whole shed end. Or the whole lower tier? Was it the upper tier as well? I think it's the definitely the lower tier. When the camera pans back there, we'll find out. But they do get quite extended amount. De Sassi, back to Sanchez. Oh, a bit of a poor pass from De Sassi to Gusto there. He's gone long. Caicedo is not winning that in the air. Jackson tries to go over the top to Sterling, who's like two foot two, having to try and tower these massive defenders. Can we not? <laughs> Can we not? Chalaba wins that to Kukurea. Jackson on the left, Kukurea. Gallagher to Mudrik, back to Gallagher. Gallagher, central to Sterling. Sterling, he's going to shoot, isn't he? No, actually. Oh my God. See, Sterling. Ah. <laughs> ah, the pain. Right, Leicester trying to pass out. Over to the right. Ref waves play on there. No foul at all. Palmer. Jackson. Kukurea's running in. Jackson. Kukurea! 1 0. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. Lovely, jubbly. Light work. Again, like I said, as expected, this is this this should be the the routine. Good goal. Fair play to Jackson. Running in, no one really on him, uses the space, goes in, cuts across, no one marking Kukurea on the uh, on the run inside, and he hits it in, and it's 1-0, and Leicester are caught out. Bob's your uncle. There you are, there's the replay. Jackson making the move on the outside. Dealt with the pressure. Ran past again, like I said, very easily. But Kukurea, no one picking him up. It's just really bad defending. Really, really bad defending. <laughs> and it's um, Kukurea unmarked, comes in, 1-0. Thank you very much. Straight as. Absolutely straight as. Do I still think it's going to be tight? Yes. But it's nice that the early goal has come because now it opens the game up a little bit. So. Well, 
Well, I'm going to revisit now. C. Yeah, you see, I told you guys it would be slower. I told you guys. Let me go back and see if I've got my normal. No, it's not. No. This is why I've, I've not got where I want to go and watch. signal plane up completely so we've resorted to plan b and plan b will be a little bit more delayed unfortunately Just seen a good opportunity there from Mudrick to try and pass into, into Jackson um, and it didn't work out. Now, this is where we got to use... So, again, that was a good example of Mudrick being able to use a tight space really, really well. Fair play to him. Um, this might be the point where we actually see Mudrick utilised in this position a little bit more. You know? Some people saying it's on BBC. I know. My aerial's messed up. <laughs> like, I can't be watching it normal. Like, it, I'm having to watch it through other means. And I've got BBC. I've got it lined up here. Let's just say through the internet. Right? But my normal way of watching is just not going to happen. Um, so, I've got other means. My aerial needs attention. No, and the eye player, that's, um, I'm more ahead of the eye player. Eye player is even slower. <laughs> so it is what it is. Houseboat, thank you very much, saying, who in Yankee Doodle Flip gave Sterling Kante seven jersey? That's true, you know. It's actually true. It's actually really true. And Louis saying, I swear Sanchez better not fumble this game or I'm going to flip out. That's the one concern that I have here. I hope Sanchez doesn't actually flip and put in some sort of a, of a mare. Um, 3 Deep, thank you very much. Saying, I figured out Poch's next game plan. Cuckoo at left wing. Oh, don't go back there. Please don't go back there. Oh my God. St Sanchez, man. Do you see what I mean? You see, Petrovic would never do that. He just wouldn't. But that would never happen with Petrovic. It would never happen. It would never happen. Unreal. He's such a liability. He is actually a liability, man. Sterling into Jackson. Jackson into Sterling. It's got to be 2 -nil. No, it's not. M Mudrick? No. It's not 2-0. Because Sterling can't shoot. Kukurea has won that back brilliantly. Have a dig, have a dig, have a dig, have a dig. Nah, uh, Jackson. Pfft. Sterling, though. Absolutely outrageous. And then Mudrick, what? Look, I think Mudrick would have put that in the bottom corner. I can't lie. Sterling's just in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Mudrick Sterling cross it oh come on All right, corner ball corner ball corner ball Chelsea Ball in, cleared. Offside, offside. Offside or foul? It's a foul. You can't be offside from a corner. Pochettino's doing the clop. He's doing some weird, like... Uh... 
Right, Leicester now trying to advance the ball out of the back. He's gone long. Easy for Sanchez. Don't make any mistake again, please, Sanchez. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Cannot have that happen again, man. No way. Absolutely no way. Nice from... Ah, uh, lucky Jackson there, to be honest. Unlucky Jackson. I reckon he could have found Gallagher that was making the run. Good defensive block. Ball's gone all the way back to Sanchez. Kaiseido, Mudrik's coming a little deep over to the right. Um, Amin, thank you very much. Saying, what happens if you get Man City in the semis? Well, we get Man City in the semis. <laughs> and, uh, and at that point, it's probably a wrap. So, um... It is what it is. But, again, like I said, I think we'll probably end up with Liverpool because Man City will get Coventry. Jack, thank you very much, saying Jackson looking so much uh, better. Eunice, do you agree? He's definitely better. He's definitely... Um, he's a lot more reliable. He's making less mistakes. He's making less mistakes. Ball over the top. Is that into... Oh, okay, Jackson. Flick it. Nice, nice. That's what I would have done. Nice, Jackson. Unlucky, though. It didn't quite come out to plan, but Palmer's got it. To De Sassi. Gallagher. Mudrick. Ball in. No one. Cuckoo. Gallagher. Leicester take it. Leicester take it. Caicedo caught out. Oh, did the sassy just get nutmegged? The sassy just got done. <laughs> Let's just pretend that never happened. Right, that's the free kick. Taken short. We're not applying enough pressure here, man. Take the ball off him, for goodness sake. Ball on the left. Coming in. Sanchez! Bro nah, man. This guy's a flipping liability, man. He's a liability. He's a liability. He's a liability. He's a liability, man. He's an absolute liability. Um, good night, sit, man. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off, man. Take him off. What is that? Look at that. He's tried to go for it. He's completely missed it, leaving his entire goal exposed. Bruv. You don't get this with Petrovic. You just don't get this with Petrovic. Simple as that. Corner ball. Clear it! Oh, thank you. Louise, thank you very much saying, what is Sanchez doing? Captain Butterfly. Mate, I wasn't even Captain Butterfly. That was Captain Fish. He didn't exactly, he didn't exactly fly. Just flopped. <laughs> you know? Unbelievable. Leicester trying to compose themselves. Oh, and they've beaten that press beautifully. They've beaten that press beautifully. Kukurea intercepts, so, and he's giving it away. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! Bruv, I thought that was 1 1. I thought that was 1 1. I gotta rub my eyes. <laughs> because if not. Okay, now I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. And we're gonna move. 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 Okay. That's a great ball. That's a great ball. Gusto. Gusto. 
Mudrick! Oh, it's got Sterling's gonna fluff it. Oh, is that a pen? Penalty. <laughs> Sterling got absolutely wiped and swiped. <laughs> <laughs> off his feet that's a yellow surely surely that's a yellow ball in from Gallagher Gusto comes across Sterling touches it um, actually let's take a look at this again hang on actually he might have taken the ball Penalty given? It's hard to see if he... It's hard to see if he took Sterling's leg, which took the ball, or he took the ball. But the ball went in the other direction. So... Anyway, penalty's been given. Sterling's to take it. Why? Is Jackson complaining? Sterling to take it. Sterling to take. Oh my God. Palmer's on the pitch, we're getting Sterling to take pens. And then when he takes one, he takes it like that. I get, mate, sub, sub him off. Now I say, you know what? I'll, that's it. Bring Washington on. <laughs> I'm at the point. I'm at the point. Bring Washington on. Bring Washington on. Stick Jackson on the left. Bro, take this brother off the pitch. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What kind of penalty is that? You know, if you're going to go down the middle, go down the middle. If you're gonna go down the left, go, put it in the left. Don't, don't put it in some next hybrid position where the goalkeeper's just gonna be like, all right, cheers. Like, what kind of penalty is that, man? And like I said, Palmer's, Palmer's on the pitch. Why is Palmer not taking it? Arash, thank you very much, saying offer still stands. Five clean sheets near the bridge, mate. Yeah, come on in, mate. Come on in. Um, houseboat, Habibi, please, Habibi. It's, but it doesn't make sense. Absolutely doesn't make sense, bruv. Uh, Honestly. Why did, why did Sterling take it? That's what I want to know. Wh whose idea was it for Sterling to take it? What, because he won the penalty? That's not how it works. <laughs> That's not how it works. Who allowed that? If Palmer's not on the pitch, fair enough. Who's the next player to take it? But P Palmer's there. Palmer's penalty taker. I don't understand. Anyway, that should have been 2-0. It's not 2-0. Leicester have a new uh, breath of life now. Great. Fantastic. Beautiful. Chalaba, Kukurea. Kukurea. Nice little one-two between Gusto and Palmer there. They've got a very nice dynamic happening between them two now. They, they've got very good chemistry. Pass it middle, pass it middle. No, no, Gusto, no. Mudrick was there. Mudrick was there. Mudrick was there. Mudrick was there, man. Uh, Josh, thank you very much. Saying Sterling and Sanchez could never play again, honestly. Ball in, here come Leicester. Uh-oh. Oh, cleared, cleared, cleared. And Kilimanjaro, thank you very much. Saying at this rate, selling Sterling would also be pure profit. It actually would, you know. It actually would. 
Caicedo getting clipped. Um, foul for Chelsea. Free kick. It's actually mad to think that the the bit of experience we have in this team is Sterling. Ster experience that isn't worthwhile. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean a thing. It means a thing to normal, good, experienced players that bring you value. Sterling doesn't bring us value, I'm afraid. He just doesn't. Just doesn't. Um... Velko, thank you very much, saying this is why you designated penalty takers, Poch. Here, hope you're having a good one, Eunice. Sterling cannot be upset on why he, oh my God, Leicester nearly scored. Um, on why he doesn't get called up for England. Sanchez has a headache, but the sky is blue. It's good super chat. Fully agree. Alex, thank you very much, saying Sterling needs getting gone to Saudi. Learn Arabic, learn Arabic, Habibi, Habibi. Habibi, Rahim, you know, we're not going to call him Rahim anymore. It's not Rahim. Rahim, you know, it's the, it's the proper go in. That's uh, how he's now going to be called. Rahim. <laughs> oh my God, another one. Mate, let's start a piling on pressure. Um, Houseboat, and I think Sanchez tried to commit suicide again. Houseboat saying, I don't think Saudi would take him. Does China need their next Oscar? He's done it again. He's bloody done it again, this guy. He's done it again. Sanchez has done it again. Well, mate, what's this, what's this madness that... Oh, flip, mate. A goalkeeper that comes out like that and doesn't win their challenge, mate. Oh, is he down? Is he down? Is he down? Sub him off. Sub him off. Sub him off. Ref. Sub him off. Sub him off. Mate, Petrovic, warm up. Petrovic, mate. Get on the pitch. Get on the pitch. Yeah, Sanchez, you need coming off, mate. T just to say yes. Just say yes, you need coming off. Yeah? I, ho I hope he's faking it. I hope he's faking it. I hope he's faking the injury so because he knows he's got to come off. I hope he's faking it. Come off the pitch. Come off the pitch, son. Come off the pitch. Bring Petrovic on. No, yeah, no, just, mate, tell the physio I can't continue. Tell him I can't continue. Just tell him I can't continue. Sanchez, just tell the physio, listen, I'm not doing this. I can't. Go on, go on, just say it, say it. Go on, physio, physio. Physio. Give the, do this, do this. I'm just waiting to see if he's going to come off or not. Joseph, thank you very much. In the squad, much appreciated. Petrovic is warming up, finally. But can we get... He's fine. I don't wish injuries on anyone, yeah? I don't wish... And it's not an injury. I, I just want Sanchez to say, I can't continue. Take me off. Yeah, if, if he knows what's best for the team right now, he would voluntarily tell the physio, listen, I don't feel, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I want to come off. Cool, bring you off. Happy days. Yeah, but that's not happened. So, well, uh, we've got, uh, we got to persevere, guys. We've got to persevere. Here's Sanchez now on the ball. There we are. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Joseph, thank you very much, saying we might as well have KSI in goal and I show the speed on the wing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we actually, we, you know what? At least we get a, a bit of publicity with that. It's a bit of marketing, you know? Mate, Leicester are balling now. They just can't get the final, uh, the final, uh, the final pass, final shot right. Here's M Mudrick. Mudrick, Mudrick, unlucky, Mudrick again, unlucky, 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 unlucky. Um, Luminous, thank you very much, saying everyone watching and their mother can see Sanchez needs to be subbed. Will Potch see it? No, <laughs> he won't. <laughs> Decent strike from Mudrick. Took his time to decide on what to do there, but when he did, he took a good shot. Uh, and Louise, thank you very much, saying speed in for Sterling. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
At least with speed, you know what you're getting. Do you know what I mean? Um, and the Sterling's just run straight into the flipping. He's just, he's just run into him. He's just run into him. Honestly. Honestly. This is what we've got to put up now at Chelsea Football Club. This is what we've got to do now. We're putting up with this. It's mad. You know, did we ever have... Did we ever have, like, Maluda running into players like that? No. <laughs> it didn't. Auto Dynasty, thank you very much, saying it's Poch's fault. That's why I can't stand about Poch. This is the same as Coro, left back, Chilwa, left wing, Sterling and Sanchez soon have been on the pitch. <sighs> yeah. I'm at the point right now, yeah? Petrovic comes on for, 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 for Sanchez already. Sterling comes off, Jackson to the left, and Washington up front. I'll try it. I'll try it. If Pot's done that right now, I'd be like, cool. Cool. Because Mudrik in the 10 is looking all right. Palmer we don't even need to talk about. So I would do it. I would do it. But we're not going to see Washington ever play. Ever. I don't, I don't even know what he's good at. You know, I don't even know what he looks like. What does he look like? I, I, I forgot what he actually looks like. I don't remember his face. <laughs> that's, that's where we are. Uh, so, Palmer's lost out. Unlucky. Here come Leicester on the left. That's a nice ball to the right-hand side. Held back by Mudrik, but he's won the ball. Brilliant. Here's Sterling. He's going to run into someone, isn't he? Oh, my God. I'm just looking at Sterling and thinking, bruv, how are you playing football? Pranab, thank you very much, saying, is Potts doing this cupkeeper thing like Pep? Imagine him in the semis or the final. That's what I'm scared of, yeah. Bruv, Sanchez can't play after this. Sanchez cannot play after this. Game over. Oh, Washington's playing under 21s. Does he actually play there, like, regularly? Um, how is he? If, if anyone's been watching the under 21s frequently, because I haven't, um, how has he been? And that's not to set the, bar the, the, the parameter, by the way, because the under-21s, the levels are not the same. It's not the same. Approach in half time, 37 and a half minutes. Still 1 0. It's not done yet. Mate, Fires looks like David Louis reincarnated. Is it just me or he is literally David Louis? Plays like him too. Seems like a good defender. Can't lie. You know, I um, anyone pointing out, I read that super chat. Auto dynasties. Yeah, I've read it. It's Potch's fault. I've read it. Come on, guys. Keep up. <laughs> Palm up. De Sassi to the goalkeeper. Chelsea throw, Kukrea to take. Thiago Silva's watching. Big up Thiago Silva. Ahmed Ibada, thank you very much, saying, hey Eunice, big fan from Egypt. I saw the Zerbi at my local barber where I live in Brighton. Want me to send him a message for you? Oh my God. Um, 
You can, in fact. Just tell him, Chelsea, don't think about it. Don't even think about it. That's it. That's all you need to say. That's all you need to say. Or you know what? You can do it in a better way. You can tell him, um, all right, if you're thinking of going to Chelsea, you know, I would reconsider. It's not exactly the most stable place to be, you know, and just put some doubt in his head and just do that. That way, he's, that way he avoids it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Right, cook, cook, cook away to take the throw. Gallagher going up for the for the second header there. Chelsea free kick. I say though wins it. Dewsbury Hall not very happy. Approaching half time. Hmm. Bit of a challenge there, but fair enough. Leicester have won it. Referee waves play on. Harry winks. Through the middle, Chowdhury. Ball shifted to the right, cutting in. It's gone all the way back. Leicester experimenting here, trying to get the ball forward. Still getting it in between the lines. Here come Leicester on the left. Someone close him down. Ball in, cleared. Leicester piling on the pressure. They actually are. No free kick. Born there right, overlap, Gallagher caught sleeping, straight to Sanchez. <sighs> this is what I mean when I say playing with caution. And there we are, ball straight, straight to Leicester. We've definitely, uh, we've definitely come off a bit now. Thank goodness half time's coming up. And ball straight to Sanchez. Through the middle into Caicedo. Sterling. Into Woodrick. Good clearance by the goalkeeper. Free kick Leicester. Yeah, this is... Um, game's going a little bit flat now. At the same time, Leicester trying to uh, hold a little bit more control. But they get to the final third and they don't really do much. Now here's Caicedo. Palmer back to De Sassi. Palmer straight to Leicester. Do you see what I mean? It's just very... Uh, Good defending by Gallagher. He's won it. And we've lost it. And we've won it. Gallagher with a turn and a free kick given. It's all very scrambled at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Very scrambled. De Sassi. Potts looks confused. <laughs> Bot is just like Sanchez Oh Caicedo Sterling He's in Right guys It's been great being here um, Thank you for watching
um, it's time. It's time to end. It's time to end. It's time to end. Is there a screen I can change to? <laughs> I've not got a pause screen. Actually, I do have a pause screen. Let's just pause. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it with this guy. I am officially finished. I need Sterling off the pitch immediately. And I need Washington on this pitch to go up top and stick Jackson on the left. I, I need it. I need it. I need it. I'm sorry. I need it now. I need it. I need it. I need it. This, 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 this cannot continue. You, Sterling, you are pants. It's as simple as that. That's it. You're rubbish. You're rubbish. That's it. It's game over. He's done. He's cooked. He's finished. Right? Talk about Sterling now. Here comes Sterling. What's he going to do now? It's 2 0. I, I, <laughs> Oh man, Cold Palmer with the finish. Cold Palmer with the finish. Uh, this club is going to be the end of me. This club is going to be the end of me, man. This club is going to be the end of me. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Let's, let's, change, let's change this to 2-0. Let's change it to 2-0. We're going to the semi-final. Uh, I'll be pretty, pretty sure on it now. Um, <sighs> Sterling ball into Palmer. Palmer slots it in and it's 2-0. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This sums up exactly why. This sums up. This sums up exactly why Sterling still gets picked. It sums it up. He's terrible. And then he gives you an assist. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I still want him off the pitch. I want him gone. That's it. That's it. I'd, I'd rather take having to try and get another player to get an assist. So, look, we're 2 0 up. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Now it's, now it's time to take him off. Simple as that. Auto Dynasty, thank you very much for your super chat saying Sterling's still rubbish. Arash saying Sterling played bad to trick their defense. <laughs> He's Sterling again, and he's just, he's, he's fluffed it. I, I would rather no stress. I would rather no stress. I'd rather take him off. Even if it meant not getting one assist, I'd take him off. I'm sorry. I, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. It's like five steps backwards and one step forward with this guy. I can't. Um, Rostislav, thank you very much, saying typical Sterling. 99% of the game he plays shit then creates one good chance and he's guaranteed to be in the starting 11 for the next two months it's exactly that it's exactly that it's exactly that and look right now i'd rather take the cut i'd rather take the cut man take him off take him off i can't deal i can't deal we're tuning up yeah tune it up cool we've got nothing to lose then second half put washington up top put jackson on the left I'd rather that. <laughs> His football club. Half time. Sorry. Half time. Oh, man. Let me align the 45 minute and let us get to... Uh, Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. You really couldn't. But it's half time. It's Chelsea 2, Leicester 0. Routine. And yeah, unofficial score, should it be four, should it be five, perhaps, perhaps, yeah, 
you could say. But I would, I would take Sterling off, absolutely. I absolutely would. Um, Edward, thank you very much for saying, Sterling's a defensive nuisance even without scoring. Is he? I just think he's fortunate at times where he's in a pocket of space and he's able to provide something. But when he's expected to deliver, he fluffs it. Uh, let me just gonna try and go back and see if I've got everything working now or if it's not. So bear with me. Bear with me. But yeah, to think he's on, yeah, he's on 325k a week. That's 325k a week, man. It's just it's mad. It's mad. It's mad. It's mad. Doc Clone, thank you very much. I just finished Salat Taraweh and this is what I got. Thank God. <laughs> Prayer came into fruition. Mo Nigerian, thank you very much. Saying, really want to see Washington get a chance. Not going to lie. You know, I would do that now. I would, I would take Sanchez off. Even though now some people might say that doesn't make sense because we're tuning it up. We're tuning it up. So we could, we could just run with it. Yeah, we could. Um, but I would want to see Washington on the pitch. 100%. 100%. Take off Sterling, man. If there's a chance to experiment a little bit and try something, it's now. Put Washington up top, put Jackson on the left, leave Mudrick in the 10, leave Palmer on the right, and let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. No. Um, and Nick, thank you very much, saying surely he has got to be pushed out on 325k. God, I hope, like I've said, um, that is also playing a huge part in this whole saga because at that much money, you expect premium. If you're going to pay that much money, you get premium, yeah? And I'll be happy to pay that money for premium. But if you're not premium, it's a waste. So... Just going to have a little butchers. Let's see where we can try and speed things up as it's half time. This is the time to try and make everything happen. Um, so I will. And um, Joans, again, thank you very much, saying, Sterling for straighten, sub before second half. Like I've said, I absolutely would. I absolutely would. 100%. It's actually pretty shocking to see how he is when he comes face to face with defenders or, um, or goalkeepers. It's, it's bonkers. How you can fluff that many times one on one is crazy. It's just mad. Um, Latinoc, am I wrong or Palmer looked mad? He looked mad. He was mad. He was mad. Here it is again. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Um, so, how are you putting that wide? I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And it's not just once. This is the thing. Some people might say, oh no, but you can miss that. Yeah, you can. Not this many times. <laughs> not this many times, man. How many times have we seen him miss one on one like that? It's crazy. It's crazy. For 325k a week, I'm sorry. No. No. You are eliminated. <laughs> um, Mo Nigerian, thank you for saying Sterling's been defending well, blocked Mudrick's shot. Yeah. 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 100%. Um, 
I'm going to Right. So honestly, like I'll be honest now, yeah. I think the game's done. I think we've. I think we're gonna get the win. Um, I don't see Leicester coming back into this now properly. I don't think that they're not. They're not clinical enough. They're not potent enough. They move the ball to the forward line pretty well, but that's as far as they get. Uh, apart from that, it just seems like they really can't do much else. So bearing that in mind, I expect Chelsea to be able to cruise now into the um, into the semi-final. I think it might even just stay 2-0. Maybe one more, maybe it might just stay 2-0. But I don't see Leicester causing us much of a threat. They might score one, but they won't. I think we're through. I think we're through. Um, I remember like what I said, I said that we would win 2-1. I stick to that. I think there's a possibility that we might just keep what, keep what we have. Leicester might get a goal late on and then it finishes 2-1. That's what I think might happen. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Best Sam 2009 and 5 with the Super Chat. Thank you very much. Saying our most experienced forward can't make good decisions. How can we expect him to be influential in the dressing room? Young players can't ask him for advice. Or you can't set the example. I agree. I completely agree with that. That's our problem. That's our problem at the football club. Um, JC, thank you very much. Saying, since we are at half time, what do you think of the whole Boeing problems? Would you fly with them? I'm due to fly in London in one month, uh, in one next month. I haven't actually looked into this. What's happened with Boeing? Um, Justice says, sell sterling for wages for Ossiman. Yeah. I'd just transfer the wages, 100%. 100%. Um, but yeah, Boeing. What happened with Boeing? Oh. Oh. Oh, so someone whistleblowed on Boeing and got killed. Well, that's um, nuts. <laughs> that's a bit mad. Um, I mean, it's more dependent on the airline. You should be okay. <laughs> I say you should be okay, but I'm not going to advise anything at this point. Um, I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, just... Uh, you know, maybe consider Airbus. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But I think you'll be fine. JR, thank you very much. Saying member for two months in the starting 11. Thank you so much. 2-0 lead before half time. Two ways this can go. Look, if this was a Premier League game, for example, I'd be a little bit more sceptical. But FA Cup game, Leicester, I expect, um, I expect us to go through. I expect us to go through. I think you'll be okay. So, we are going to be kicking off with the second half very imminently. Very imminently, we will see. Um, let me... Right, stats are there. Beautiful. The stats are correlating with the scoreline as well. 2.6 expected goals compared to 0.4. 59% possession, nine goal attempts to three, four on target, none for them. Goes to mention exactly why I, uh, I've i said that I don't think, I don't think Leicester are going to cause much of a threat. Um, so I think we cruise into the semi-final of the FA Cup. And then we got to have a look at the draw and see who we get. And it's going to be a big team unless we get Coventry. And if we get Coventry, then we are laughing. Respectfully, we are laughing. Um, but again, I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, right? It's almost like stealing away to the final. I know we'd take it, but will it, will it change what the result would be in the final if we got there? 
I'm not so sure. Do you know what I mean? Is it genuinely a good cup run if all you've beaten are championship teams? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine, get, imagine your route to the FA Cup final is Leeds, Leicester and Coventry. Like, that's outrageous. That's ridiculous. You know? Can you imagine that? Oh, here's that shout for the penalty again. I want to see the replay. Can they show us the replay? Please, I want to see, I want to see the replay. No, it's a penalty. 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 Uh, he, he took the leg and with the other leg took the ball. If you go and watch it, you can see that it's basically both at the same time, but he took the leg out and he was going for a shot, so it's a pen, it's a penalty. But Sterling, we've spoken enough on Sterling, we don't need to mention it anymore. Um, JR saying, why is Sanchez still starting? He looks nervous. He's lucky. He's lucky we're 2 up. He's lucky we're 2 up. Um, Houseboat saying, keep our unbeaten streak against City alive. Well, by facing them in a the final. No, but you've got to realise, if we get Coventry, it means Liverpool or City in the other semi-final. That would be outrageous. But like I said, I genuinely think, right, I, my opinion, I think Liverpool beat United later, and then I think after that game, we get Liverpool in the semi, City get Coventry, and we're screwed. That's how I think it's going to go. That's how I think it's going to go. But you never know. You never know. Maybe we might get something happen our way. Maybe. Second half about to commence. Very imminently. Let's get things ready. Um, Alex, thank you very much. Saying Liverpool fan here. Love the channel. Thank you very much, mate. Um, if somehow you guys win the FA Cup and finish seventh, how do you rate the season overall? Made the, off, made the other final two. Yeah, you know what? Um, it's actually not the worst thing if we were to finish that way because winning the FA Cup gets Europa League football. That actually is okay when you consider it's okay. But there has to be improvements, man. There has to be improvements overall. Like I said, the, 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 the season as a whole has been horrific. And like I said, it's because of that point. Because of that, like what you've just mentioned. Do I think Chelsea go and win the FA Cup? No, I don't. Do I think Chelsea go and get into uh, sixth or seventh? No, I don't. But... If there's ever a chance for Chelsea to win the FA Cup, I think we need Coventry in the semi-final. Because the final is the final, and the final, anything can technically happen. That's the beautiful thing. Anything can happen in a final, right? So when you bear that in mind, the best possible chance for Chelsea to win the FA Cup is if we, if we have an easy semi-final. Have an easy semi-final, give us Coventry, get to the final, and then we deal with it on final day. You know, that's the... That's the other route. Now, I've got to be honest. If that were to happen and City play Liverpool in the semi-final, who do I think wins the semi-final? I think it would be Liverpool. But that's just me. Anyway, let's... Uh Do some digging and see.
Right. Um, just going to get the time aligned. Jackson is down. And I think he'll be okay. He's up. Man, is it just... This is so annoying. Being, being behind like this is so annoying. But I'm, I'm double checking and I've, I've, not, I've still not got the area working. Nothing's working. So I'm going to have to deal with that after I go, um, after I'm not live anymore. I have to deal with that properly. Um, but we have to do with what we have. Blimey. Right. Thank you very much to bloody hell Liverpool. The ball, Liverpool. I've got PTSD. Leicester with the ball into the box. Um, Unlimited dreamer. Liverpool fans are right. Sterling so greedy. There's a reason why he's not at Liverpool and City anymore. <laughs> Jaden saying, "Eunice, love this channel. What position players would you add to the squad?" One experienced defender, central defender. One experienced central midfielder. One forward. One experienced striker. That's what I would start off with, right? And then we can move with that. Create the spine, yeah? Petrovic, proper centre-back, proper centre-mid, proper striker, and then build all the best that we have at the moment around all of that. That's what I would do. But we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Kai Sado acting a little bit rash. Acting a little bit rash. Actually, it's 10 seconds back, there we are. Hey, JT. JT alongside Jody Morris. Watching the game. Could have JT on the pitch right now, to be honest. Big up, JT. Kokoro, take the throw. Mudrik. Gallagher. Sterling. And uh, we're lucky, Gusto's picked up after the slip, because Sterling slipped. And Palmer has been sent back to City with that, straight to the goalkeeper. Not a great pass from Gusto to him, if I'm being completely honest. Very nice through ball, good tackle by De Sassi, read that very well. Caicedo. Palmer. Caicedo. Palmer. Gusto. Ball in. Cleared.
David Luiz. Every time I look at fires, I think David Luiz. It's David Luiz. It's not, it's not fires, it's David Luiz. What just happened? How is it 2 1? The replay finished and the ball's in the net. Like, I don't understand. Oh, no, it was known goal, wasn't it? It was known goal, wasn't it? De Sassi's had a bad absolute. F I, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything about De Sassi. I'm going to wait because I don't know about Sanchez either. Let's wait and see what's happened here. Gusto takes the throw backwards. Oh, De Sassi. Oh, my God. No, but I'm. Um, oh, man, that's a calamity. That's an absolute calamity. That's an absolute calamity. And Jackson has a shot and it's gone out. That's, well, it's 2-1. So the prediction is coming through very, very nicely. Um, but that was not how I expected it to happen. That is ridiculous. Um, De Sassi's caught under pressure and Sanchez is nowhere near his, his, his goal. This is the thing about being so far forward. I Look, there's three things here, yeah? This is why at Sunday League, managers tell you never throw the ball backwards. Always throw it forwards. It's because it is. <laughs> That's one, yeah? Sanchez, oh, sorry, not Sanchez. De Sassi was slow. Had pressure. Didn't react very well. Decided to just hit it without paying attention to where Sanchez was. And Sanchez was nowhere near where he should be in that position. It's a throw. If we're in an attack and the ball is way far across the other side of the pitch, then yeah, as a goalkeeper, you make you move forward. You, you move forward to the, your 18-yard your line. You move forward maybe past that. And you can have a bit of, of, of space, a bit of room. But in that manner, Sanchez should not be that far forward either. So... I blame mostly De Sassi, but I'm also blaming Sanchez on that. Because that was ridiculous. If Sanchez was a little bit further back, he would have been able to prevent that. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's both. So it's 2-1 now and pressure is on. Great. I said that Chelsea would probably not score, hold this, and Leicester would score towards the end. Well, Leicester scored early, and now it's 2-1 with 40 minutes to go. So I don't quite know what's going to happen now, if I'm honest. I think my prediction might be in the bin. Um, Caicedo takes a shot, low and, low and hard, goes uh, straight to the goalkeeper. Kemar, thank you very much. Another great Poch halftime team talk, I see. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. All of a sudden, I'm nervous again. All of a sudden, I'm a little bit edgy. Who's down? Gallagher? Palmer? Thank you very much. Our sloppy second half reputation is back, sadly. It feels like that. It definitely feels like that. What's bad is that now we've got, like I've said, the entire 40 minutes of having to try and hold on to this nervousness. Like the, the nerves are high now. The tension is high. You can tell. And I'm sure the fans are, are feeling it too. Um, except the Leicester fans. They're definitely buzzing right now because they feel like they have a chance. But this is not what you want in a cup tie. Because it's do or die. I say those lost it. Mudrick's lost it. Oh, he's gone past Mudrick and Gallagher. Let's start moving. 
No one marking the geezer on the right. <gasps> Blimey. Jackson. Gusto's trying to run on the overlap there. He's inverted. Oh, come on, Jackson. Here come Leicester again. See, this is what I mean. It's all getting very nervy now. It's getting nervy. It's getting nervy, man. Oh, man. This is where we start to get cold. <laughs> this is where it starts to feel like, ah, oh, this is going to be a long, uh, this is going to be a long um, end of the game, this. Leicester, Leicester have full control here. Oh, good tackle, Gusto. Timed that well. Timed it very well. And that's a foul on Caicedo, isn't it? Here's Cole Palmer. And he's giving the ball away. Harry Winks. Dale Coat, thank you very much. Can't have one game without squeaky bum time. Um, horrible pass by De Sassi, but Sanchez has to realise he isn't a centre mid. I, I agree. I agree. I agree completely. I completely agree. I can't lie, I don't feel good. I was a lot more comfortable in the first half than I am now. For sure. For sure. West Ham, Aston Villa kicked off in the Premier League, so that started. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling nervy now. I really am. And it's, it's minute 58 and I'm feeling nervy. Oh, Dakar is on Sanchez like a rash. Dakar is on Sanchez like a rash. Honestly, Sanchez is sleeping, man. Sleeping. Take this guy off, please. I need Sanchez off. I need Sterling off as well. Vivek, thank you very much. Saying I feel like the attackers have done their job this season. Mostly, those goals make us a laughing stock. Disassi Sanchez cannot be our starting players. There's always something wrong in our team. Always, always. Foul on Kukurea. Free kick. Oh, man. The life of, of Chelsea fans now, man. It's so... Uh, it's too frantic, isn't it? And it's frantic in a bad sense. It's not even frantic in a good sense. I like frantic having to... I like being frantic against Real Madrid. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like being frantic having... You know, playing against the best and being in contention for a big position or something. Oh, I like it. But I don't like frantic like this against a championship side. I, do you know what I mean? So kaisoda has gone down, free kick. Sanchez. Oh no, someone's on the pitch. I think it's a Leicester fan as well. I think a Leicester fan has made his way on the pitch. Brilliant. I mean, he didn't even run much. What, you know what? Look, I've got to say this. If you're going to invade a pitch, yeah, do it correctly. <laughs> if you're going to invade a pitch, make sure you can run. Make sure you're wrecking some sort of havoc. Right, or, people that run on the pitch, then they see the security and they just go, oh, and then they fall to the ground. Well, why bother? Why stop the game? Do you know what I mean? Like, you make it memorable at least. Be entertaining at least. Here's Mudrick. And it's a corner. Um, 
Louise, thank you very much. Was that Willy Caballero? No, not their manager. You're talking about their manager? No, surely not. <laughs> surely not. But what I did want to say is that they are getting their substitutes ready. As Dakar is now on the attack and he's alone. He's gone backwards. But they're getting subs ready. And like I mentioned, they've got substitutes that they can turn to. They've got Ian Archo. They've got... Um, oh, what other name have they got? I need to double check. As they make their way on the left-hand side here. Oh my God, Gusto's been done. <gasps> and there we are. There we are. There we are. That's what I meant when I said I didn't feel good. 2-2. Two, two. We come out for the second half and everything changes. Again. We come out for the second half and it's not the same. Like I said, in the first half, I was feeling a lot more comfortable. We come out for the second half and boom. This is ridiculous, man. What a goal as well, by the way. Gusto got done there. It's a great finish. And Sanchez isn't saving that. I'd give Petrovic a chance to save that, but there's no chance that, that, that Sanchez is saving that. Sharpie, let's not forget Enzo was under pep. Defence done. <laughs> and uh, JR, the halftime 2-0 lead curse. Called it. Incredible, isn't it? Against Leicester, man. Oh, man. Mavididi was the one who scored. And now they get to go to their bench, right? Their bench consists of, yeah, Ian Archo, Mark Albrighton. They've got Dustin and Cody and Ward if they want to act maybe a little bit more defensively, but it's a cup game, so. But we've still got half an hour of this and I genuinely don't know where this is heading now. I don't, I don't know where this is heading. My prediction's in the bin. I said 2-1 Chelsea. That's in the bin. Louise, thank you very much, saying Leicester has one shot and two goals. Get this bum out. Arash, don't forget that they're in the championship. There they are. They're top of the championship. Yeah. We can't hold a half-time lead um, against top of the championship. This is just, man. No, and like I've said, yeah, like I've said, like I've said, like I've said, God forbid if something bad happens today. It better not. It better not. I'm just saying. It better not. Palmer over the bar. It better not. Because this is our route. This is our route. This is our route. If it doesn't happen now, if it doesn't happen today, then season's done. Doc Clone, that happens when team wastes many opportunities. This is true as well. By the way, there is no replay. So if this goes to, if this finishes 2 2 at, X, um, at 90 minutes, it will go to extra time. Just to clarify the situation. Oh my God. How have Leicester somehow made it through that? Sean Dyche, thank you very much. Saying it's on post for picking Sanchez. Wants to keep him happy. Yeah. Joseph. Fernandez, thank you very much. Saying, hate to say it, but we spursed it. This football club's ruining last hours of my weekend. Big up Eunice from Singapore. Thank you very much, mate. Big up to you as well. This is a common theme and it's a common theme for a reason. Yeah, it's a common theme for his Sterling, and he shoots at the defenders. Beautiful. And Mudrik over the bar. Lovely. 25 minutes. 25 minutes.
Tom, thank you very much, saying this is typical for us. I knew this would happen. It, you know what it is? Like today, I can't lie, this was in the back of my head. This was in the back of my head. I'm obviously going to say this was in the back of my head. How is it not? But I genuinely didn't think we'd, we'd, we'd go there. I didn't think it'd happen. Do you know what I mean? I, I genuinely thought like, not today. Not today. And not against Leicester. Nah. You know? Premier League, different story. Leicester, FA Cup, nah. This is why I said 2-1. I was like, you know what? It won't be, it won't be pretty, but... I reckon we'll, we'll nick it and we'll get to the semi. Here we are, 2-2 and we've got half an hour to play. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You know me. I've been, I've been gutted and I've criticised and I think the direction of the club is, is, is horrendous. You know me. I've said that time in, time out. But even I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> you know? Even I was like, nah, surely not. Can't write it. Um, Oli Wukayode, thank you very much. Saying the fact that there are no subs right now shows Poch is deaf, blind, and stupid. I'm livid. It's incredible, isn't it? Thank you very much. Um, Jonathan as well. Poch still sitting on his ass. Make some subs. I genuinely don't know where this is heading. I don't know where this is heading. God knows. We've fallen flat. Leicester have taken control. I don't know where this is going. No clue. The thing is, who's going to nick it? Because one team has to nick it. Who's going to nick it? Is uh, Gallagher? De Sassi? Ball in. Cleared. Cleared. And cleared again. And, mate, it's combinations that Leicester have in their midfield that look really good. And then their last, their, their output towards the end is, is not good at all. But even then, they've managed to score twice. So I'm not even in a position to speak. Chalaba. Kaiseido back to the sassy. He's nearly flipping bottled it again. My goodness. Um, well, Spence saying, last I recall sending a super chat was final whistle in the Champions League final win. God, we fell so far in short order. Someone has to be held responsible. Unreal. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and I react to saying, Poch has zero tactics. What in the world? God knows, mate. God knows. Here come Leicester. Oh, okay, we've nicked it. Oh, Jackson, that's a turn! Jackson has got a bit... That's a pen. Is that a pen? Is it a pen? Yeah, penalty yellow card. All right, well, it looks like we've gotten away with this. <laughs> it looks like we've gotten away with this. For the love of God, if I see Sterling on this, I'm going to flip. If I see Sterling on this, I'm going to flip. Um, Musa, thank you very much. Oh, no, it's a free kick. It's a free kick. It's a free kick. It's not a pen. It's a free kick. And it was outside the box. It was outside the box. But I do want to say, 
He's the last man. Is that not a red card? Yeah, he's the last man. He's us a red, surely. The VAR are not going to give a penalty, without a doubt. It's a free kick, but it's a red. Yeah, okay, so free kick given. Red, red card. Cool. Cool. Brilliant. So it's a free kick, correctly so. It's outside the box. But he was a last man and it's a red card. Cool. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. To be fair, I think Doyle took one for the team there. He had to. He had to do what he did. He had to do what he did. Now Leicester are making some subs. They're going to try and alter their, their, their tactics for sure. Um, and it's even more reason for us to win this flipping game now. Surely. Surely we're winning. Well, I say surely. I'm not going to say it. Because with this club, you just never know. You just never know. It's Sterling or Palmer. Just let Palmer take it. Just let just let Palmer take the free kick. Cool. He's let Palmer take it. Or has he? No, he's not, actually. He might be Sterling. All right, substitutions, I think. So Leicester are going to make some subs. Jack, thank you very much. 10 men championship side, no excuses if we lose and the owners need to go today. <laughs> they, they need to go anyway. Mavadidi has come off. Justin has come on. Attacker on, off for defender. Makes sense. Um, is it Sterling or Palmer? I think it's going to be Sterling because it's Sterling, isn't it? Oh no, is it Palmer? It might be Palmer. No, it's Sterling. <laughs> oh my God, that's no, that's that's had me, that's had me, that's had me dead. Wow, wow wow no no that's 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 incredible that's that's that's, that's actually that's incredible that's hilarious man. that's now you know what i got a clap to sterling on that one you know you've made me laugh at least you've made me laugh like that that was funny that was genuinely funny brilliant unreal unreal unbelievable I can't, I can't get over it. I can't. We're going to have to start singing Frank Sinatra on here. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Straight to the moon. Straight to the moon.
Right, we've got 14 minutes plus stoppage time left to see where this is going to go. Another substitute for Leicester. See, their manager has a plan. Ours is just, you know, inshallah. Full of, full of hoping. Jonathan, thank you very much. Didn't know Chelsea have a space program. <laughs> yes, spot on, spot on. Elon Musk, nah mate, Chelsea Football Club. SpaceX, who needs SpaceX when you've got Chelsea FC? All you need is one Sterling to launch it into space and that's it. You don't need to invest anything. You, know, you don't need to build any rockets. Just get this player to kick it and it's done. Chuckle Maker's coming on. Jamie saying Sterling still doing st Ch Sterling still going to the Euros. God forbid it. God forbid it. Right. Who's Chuckle Maker coming on for? Right, Connor Cody's come on for Ndidi, so sorry, not Connor Cody. Cody. Cody Cody's coming on for Ndidi. Um Who's coming off? Mudrick. <sighs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Pochettino, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I'm going to say it here, yeah? There's a reason why Mudrik has been taken off when he shouldn't have been taken off. There's a reason why Thiago Silva's not in the team, not being picked or nothing at all. There's a reason, yeah? Let's just uh, say that. Sterling still somehow survives it, but Mudrik is taken off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm actually convinced, right? With Mudrik now. Mudrik in that position has looked better, yeah? Why is he coming off? Sterling somehow still survives. I don't understand it. But it's, it's actually crazy that at a point where Mudrik starts to, starts to show something, starts to, you know, he should be given that, that, that opportunity now. He should be able to, to roll with, with this and this position. He's taken off. Poch just does not have him in favour. Simple as that. Poch just does not have Mudrik in his favour. That's it. That's it. Louise, thank you very much, saying this is so Spursy, I almost want to lose, if, uh, if pot. Josh, Mudrik off, Sterling survives, now I'm done now. Auto Dynasty Car Sales, thank you very much, saying Sterling and pot must be investigated for match fixing. At this rate, yeah. It's actually crazy that Mudrik is the one that's taken off. Actually, well, but that, this is why I say it's crazy for all of us, but for Poch, this is completely expected. Completely expected. Armin saying, is Sterling bribing Poch to keep playing him? Seems like it, doesn't it? My God, look at this chaos in the box. Absolute chaos. Eighty-two minutes. This is gonna go to extra time. I, my, would it? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. God knows at this point. God knows.
Here's Caicedo, ball in, cleared. Jackson, header, ball, straight to the goalkeeper. Light work. Beanie Bond YT, thank you very much. Saying my missus is a City fan. I can't deal with all this. You're just going to have to let her run with it, mate. You just have to tell her congrats and let her run with it and let her have her time. Let her enjoy it. You know? And just uh, be there to serve the drinks. <laughs> Flix, what have they done to my club? A lot more than people realise. A lot more than people realise. Carefree Blues, thank you very much, saying I'm genuinely hoping they dock us points and relegate us. At least then we might clear out all these jokers from our club. Here's Sterling now, straight to Leicester. Beautiful, beautiful. And here's Sterling again, and he's given it away again. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just, it's just... Ah. Jamie, thank you very much, mate. Pod still subs Mudrick even if he'd scored two. Yeah, he actually would. He actually would. Bear in mind, Leicester down to 10. Can we just remember that? Leicester, Leicester got 10 on the pitch here. Got seven minutes plus stoppage time. Houseboat, thank you very much, saying, unless this is a protest by Poch, I'm done. I hope we're in the mud next year. Give us a points deduction and wipe the slate clean. Egbali and co better cough up and get some actual experience. It's what we should have done from the very beginning. But that's not what we're doing. That's not what the model dictates. That's not what the data says. It's incredible. But there has to be action, I agree. There has to be action. Has to be action. Because this is just unacceptable, man. Just how many, how much more do people have to deal with for it to really start, you know, sinking in? It's already sunk in for me. I'm there. I'm there. And it also has to start there because, and I stress this, I stress this, when Pochettino's gone, right, they're going to hire the next bad thing. And we can't have that. This is why there needs to be action taken to send a deep message to the ones above that people are not standing for this any longer. If you're going to change the manager now, you've got to go and get proper quality now. No more experimenting. Because if not... People are going to, we're all going to be in the same situation once Potts gets sacked or if he does leave or whatever happens at the end of the season. We get the next guy in. It's going to be the same same rubbish again, mid-table again next season. And it's just going to keep going. I, I, I don't want to waste time. We're wasting time. So... The Blue Lounge, thank you very much, mate. I hope you're well. Saying UA for FFP, we can't... We can't afford to qualify for Europe, Ramadan Karim. Oh, well, we can't afford to qualify for Conference League. We can afford Europa League, but we can't afford Conference League. That would actually be losing money. <laughs> Beanie Bond, thank you very much. Potch out tonight. Oh, lo and behold, Sterling's off. Sterling's off, Madawake's on. Is he being booed? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Now, can Madueke get us out of a situation? Can he get us out of a situation? We are approaching the last four minutes. Bear with me one sec, one sec.
I wonder how this is all gonna end. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Looks like we're going to extra time. The way that this is running, looks like we're going to extra time. Ball from Caicedo over the top, straight to Leicester. We have lost all ability to play football. <laughs> We've, we have lost all composure. It's all very scruffy. It's all very uh, flat. It's all very... Um... Let's see how we move it forward now. Here's Gusto. Madueke. He's lost the ball. Gusto's gone in for a challenge there. He's won the ball. Fair play to him. And we've given it away. It's mad to think, you know, it's mad to think we're watching Chelsea. I, I still can't compute it sometimes. You know, sometimes I watch Chelsea and I think, I'm watching Chelsea? Like, this is Chelsea? I'm watching Chelsea. Doesn't feel like I'm watching Chelsea, man. Really doesn't. Palmer. Gallagher. He's going to have a dig. Nope. Gusto. Save! What a save. The tap in, I think that was going to be Madueke. Is that Madueke? We've got to remember, let's start down to 10 here as well. Got to bear that in mind. Yeah, Madueke. Good save. Good save. Palmer. Madueke. Ball in. Kukurea. Jackson. Ch Chukameka. Jack, oh my God, Jackson. Chilwell. I wonder who Chilwell is coming on for. What's the odds Chilwell's getting put left wing? Can we just, can we just say that? I guarantee Chilwell's being played left wing. 185 million percent. Oh no, he's not. All right, Kukurea, straight swap. All right, that surprised me, I'm not going to lie. I thought Leicester down to 10 men. I thought it would mean that Chilwell gets flung onto the left and um, basically goes left wing. Um, but no, no, it's a straight swap. So he's gone left back, he's gone left back. Panic averted. Eight minutes of added time. <sighs> um, Daniel, thank you very much. Being a Chelsea fan is just a toxic relationship. It is at this point. It actually is. Like, you know you should leave, but you just don't. Do you know what I mean? Ball from Gusto to the left-hand side. Chukramaker. Chukramaker. Chill well. Cleared. <sighs> Gallagher. Chukramaker. Oh, he's in! 3 2! <laughs> Come on! Chukramaker! Oh, mate! What are the chances? What are the chances? He got injured 
After scoring a great goal against West Ham, we remember that. He comes back and he scored a winner to send us to the semis. Tuko Maker. Little one two. Who was that one two with? Who was that one two with? Jackson, Tukumaker, Tukumaker, Palmer. Palmer. Oh, man. It's happened again. It's happened again. Stoppage time. Houseboat. Thank you very much. The model is the sporting directors. For all their faults, the owners should have... Sh the owners have shown they will spend. I'm sure the Sheikh, FSG, any owners aren't experts, but open wallets when people who do know speak. At first, maybe not now, if I'm being honest. FFB in that. But Chukumaka gets Chelsea the winner at this point, surely. Um, Potch is trying to go to the fans and create some personality. It's probably a bit too late for that now, if I'm being honest, but... Leicester down to 10. It's, 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 I think we've got what we've wanted. We're going to the semi-final. We've done it in proper, proper squeaky bum time, proper nervousness, like crazy, crazy settings, right? Um, we didn't have to go down this route, but we went down this route, but we've, we've done it, it seems like. So happy days, happy days. We're going to the semis. <laughs> Honestly. Louis, thank you very much. Um, saying Palmer is the second coming of Frank Lampard. <sighs> Can we not? Can we not? No. No. I'm just waiting for four minutes to end now. Just end this game. End it, please. End this game. But you see, 3-2 against Leeds, 3-2 against Leicester. In this sort of manner as well. They're down to 10. This is why we... This is why we're going to hope we get Coventry. If we don't get Coventry, the, the journey ends at the semi-final, as far as I'm concerned. So, here's Chukamaker again. Mate, he's balling. He's actually balling. Right, Leicester's uh, final push. The, the problem with Leicester now, and why I'm pretty sure, I say I'm pretty sure, but you never know, um, why they won't score is because they've taken off attackers to bring on defenders to try and balance out going down to 10 men it's going to take one hell of a miracle now for them to get a goal it just will which is why I think we see it through Gusto's been given man of the match and fair play I think that's deserved I think that's deserved. Shirt pull in there. Yellow card. Yep, Cody knows. Free kick, Chelsea. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Can't believe I'm sat here nervous. 3 2 against 10 man Leicester at the bridge, thinking, have we done it yet? Like. <laughs> this is our lives now. Our lives are like this now. Pull over the top, chill well. Corner ball. Yeah, corner, Chelsea.
Corner will take him. Straight to the goalkeeper. Poor touch. Poor touch. Gone straight to Gusto. Madueke. Oh, Madueke. Oh, Madueke. Madueke, brother. That's a, that's a shot and a half. That's a shot and a half. 4 2. Job done. Thank you very much. Can we end the stream, Dave? <laughs> end it now, man. That's it. We've got across the line. But what a crack that was. What a crack that was. Gideon, thank you very much. How many times are these players going to bail Poch out? Gee, man, it's not that. People need to realise, Poch hasn't lost a dressing room. There's maybe a couple players in that dressing room that, yeah, there's, it's not quite nice. But the whole dressing room as a whole, he's not lost. So that's not the problem. It's not about bailing him out. He's not being bailed out. Players are playing. But it's about the quality, it's about his coaching, it's about the state of the club, the model and the strategy. That's what it all comes down to. What we're doing. Um, so, yeah, but a great goal for Madueke today. Absolutely roasted that one straight into the top corner. Kemar, and we had Sterling on for 84 minutes. It sums it up, doesn't it? It sums it up. It sums it up. Um, Jonathan, thank you very much, saying, watch Sterling start next game. Yeah, he will. He will. He will. And there we are. It's done. Full time. Bob's your uncle. There we are. We're in the semi final. Um, and let's see what the draw is going to say later. We've got the Man United Liverpool game, obviously, later on to happen. See what happens there. And then there's the draw. We'll see if we're going to end up with one of the big boys or we're going to end up with Coventry. Let's wait and see. Thank you to everyone that has joined this watch along. Review will be coming very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you all so much. And um, we keep our eyes on the draw. So thank you to everyone that left Super Chats, contributed, subscribed, has got this number up, by the way, to where it is. We are well on the road to 200K. Thank you to everyone that is here allowing that to happen. Thank you all so much. And um, we keep it moving. Much appreciated to every single one of you. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you on the review. In a bit, people. See you a lot later. Take care and peace.